Hi right, guys. It is an absolutely soon to be spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. We're sitting on the dock. Sitting on the dock here on this lovely. It is a Sunday morning, January 7th. 2024 and uh, I haven't checked the mainstream media news today I think there could be somewhere I don't know between 6 and 10 inches of snow on the ground there at Bugs in a Jar Farm in New York which is the number one reason I am sitting on this beautiful dock on this lovely Sunday morning in Florida being a snowbird. You know, these people, you know, talk about how Florida is just so overrun with clueless morons and snowbirds and shit. And it's all strip malls and condos and amusement parks down here. Oh yeah. So anyway, uh, <coughs> thinking of getting out and looking at more real estate investment possibilities in the great state of Florida today. Uh, anyway, I just need to. Uh, <laughs> I I said I wasn't going to do this, and and I'm really going to try not too much here on uh, either one of my channels in the year 2024 but every once in a while I, I'm gonna have to weigh in on this uh, developing shit show called the 2024 election and because I'm, I'm sure there will continue to be some confusion by people who have absolutely no grasp of nuanced discernment and critical thinking that I am a fan of Joe Biden because I think correctly that Donald Trump is is the Antichrist the spawn of Satan and the single most, the number one most, uh, over-the-top, disgusting human being on planet Earth out of 8 billion, the reigning king, uh, d d just, I mean, he's offensive on every level. Uh, simply because I think that about Donald Trump, uh, I, you know, people, you know, people hear someone who, who just want to vomit every time they see that motherfucker and they jump to the conclusion that that means they are a supporter of Joe Biden, which I find uh, quite hilarious, uh, as I was saying in the, in that conversation I was having with Elliot Jacobson recently uh, you know anybody who votes for Joe Biden particularly on some claim of his environmental agenda thinking for one millisecond that Joe Biden is going to do one fucking thing on any level to uh, turn this freight train around is every bit as clueless as somebody voting for Donald Trump thinking he's going to save this country and this planet. Okay? Uh, <laughs> it makes from a collapsitarian eco-Nazi point of view it makes zero difference 
which one of those fuckers uh, is in the White House. Joe Biden might throw the little limp dick lefties a few little scraps and bones to uh, claim that he is some sort of fucking environmentalist. But beyond that, uh, the, the planet is fucked. The planet is fucked. Now, the country uh, will be more fucked uh, under Donald Trump, I guess, than uh, this is one of my Trump tarred neighbors starting his monster truck in the background. So the country might be more fucked. You know, this ridiculous, hilarious concept of democracy might be more fucked if Donald Trump wins. But you know what I'm saying, it's uh, six and one half dozen of the other, as far as that is concerned. So just with, just with that as a, as a backdrop, I just can't let something that happened a couple of days ago pass without comment, as hard as I have been trying. So... The, the Trump derangement syndrome, obviously. Oh, I did make, I, I just did want to make one more comment before I get into Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, <clears throat> as I said on Collapse Chronicles yesterday, and immediately I noticed someone gave my rat a thumbs down, there is one person who's, who's putting... Uh, ah, shit, someone's going to come put their kayak in. So I need to stop this rant. While they're loading their kayaks, we're going to sit here and talk about this absolutely beautiful morning. I'm, you know, you, you think that maybe people with kayaks are not Trump tards. Uh, maybe there's a chance because they're in kayaks and not some sort of fucking monster power boat <coughs> that uh, these are not <coughs> Trump supporters. I'm hoping they're driving away. Are you driving away or are you parking? Okay, good. They're driving away. And, uh, Oh, where was I before we got so rudely interrupted by those kayakers? Uh, oh, yeah. As I was saying, yesterday I was reading on, on Collapse Chronicles last night, was reading this article out of Politico, I think, where, you know, they were interviewing, I don't know, maybe a dozen various analysts from all walks about their predictions for 2024 and pretty much the consensus was uh, going along with Elliot Jacobson and me that Donald Trump will be put in the White House at this point. Uh, it, it's getting to be here it's the first week in January, and it's already getting more apparent that Donald Trump is heading back into the White House. And as I said on my rant last night on Collapse Chronicles, there is one human being putting Donald Trump in the White House. There is one person uh, that we can thank for Donald Trump being in the White House, and it sure as shit is not Donald Trump. It is Joe Biden. Joe Biden's decision uh, to run and, 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 and not get his fucking demented old man ass out of the fucking way and, and let somebody, you know, younger than Methuselah uh, have a shot at Donald Trump. Uh, the, the, the day he announced, I'm pretty sure you can find me saying uh, Joe Biden just put Donald Trump in the fucking White House. So thank Joe Biden 
anybody listening to this uh, with Joe Biden's dick in their mouth, that's exactly who you can fucking thank uh, for Donald Trump in the White House. I'm not saying anybody else got to, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that it just clinched it. But that said, the uh, <laughs> the Trump derangement syndrome is already uh, you know hitting hitting its stride on <laughs> and a week into January. Uh, <coughs> so this dear sweet friend of mine who shall remain nameless. One of my best friends. Uh, this this is not my my Trump tard friend uh, in in uh, Austin uh, who has learned. She has pretty much learned not to send me political links to uh, to try to convince me. You know what I'm saying? She gave up a couple of years ago. I uh, try, you know, trying to bring me uh, around to her side. We we just obviously don't discuss politics, uh, so it's not that friend. It, it, it's another friend who still sends me political links. So we're 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 talking on the phone, and she is talking about all of this unadulterated horseshit that uh, people are putting out there on social media. Uh, you know, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, whatever the fuck, uh, you know, talking about how... <coughs> Damn it. How otherwise seemingly, you know, educated, intelligent people are uh, are, are, are posting uh, th this unadulterated horseshit uh, on on social media, and she says, "I'm going to send you a two and a half minute video, Hambone, and, and I and I want you to listen to it." And uh, so I said, God damn it. I said, all right, if it's only two and a half minutes. So she sends me this thing. Uh, I will put the link in here, and I suggest you go listen to it for two and a half minutes. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Decide for yourself what, what the fuck this is. So what it, well, what it is... <coughs> on the surface at least, is Trump derangement syndrome on steroids. Alright, just, just completely over the top, uh, limp dick lefty clueless fucking moron, Trump derangement syndrome. <coughs> you know, I, I guess maybe talking somewhat about this infamous Agenda 25. You know, every bit is fucking fear-mongering, clueless fucking morons talking about Agenda 25. It, 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 it's all these fucking right-wing Trump-tard clueless morons and uh, talking about Agenda 21. They, 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 they sound every bit is, is fucking ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> as, as a Trump tar talking about Agenda 21, these fucking limp dick lefties. So I, I, I watched this thing like two or three times and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is this. And, and I, apparently my friend was playing it straight she she was thinking it it, it, it was it, it was straight up uh, uh, what it is and then you know I'm reading the comments from all these fucking clueless moron uh, limp dick lefties and uh, and, and, and and people are just uh, acting like this video <clears throat> is you know straight ahead 
that uh, we're we're putting the spawn of Satan. Uh, well, Joe Biden is putting the spawn of Satan uh, into the White House. Uh, so, I, I mean, that part is true. I, I mean, that, that, but that's, that's the only uh, part that's true. And I'm thinking, is, and I honestly could not tell, guys. I honestly cannot tell. As I watch this thing two or three times, what the fuck this thing is. I, I, I don't have any idea how many views it has. I wish I, I didn't. I have no clue how many views it had. Probably a couple of million. Who, who the fuck knows? And I'm thinking, <clears throat> this can't be. This can't be straight ahead. Uh, it, 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 you know, put out there as uh, as what? As as some sort of uh, a, a official warning or what? I you know, or it can't be. That, that that nobody, uh, I, I don't care how much of a limp dick lefty, fear strangled, uh, conspiratard you are, a, a lefty conspiratard, uh, you are who could take this shit seriously, and, and uh, so I'm said okay, it has to be satire. There there there's no other since it can't be, since it can't be. Uh, what it's claiming to be can't be. It just by default, it, it has to be satire, making fun of, of of limp dick lefties suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, and that's what uh, that was the conclusion I came to. That there, there's no other explanation for this horseshit other than what it is, it is a, you know, a bunch of Trump-tard supporters uh, putting this out, making fun of <clears throat> limp dick lefties with, with Trump derangement syndrome, you, you know, trying to uh, get their panties in a wad and get them all riled up. And, and, and by looking at the comments, uh, they succeeded spectacularly. That it's really not hard to, to get a limp dick lefty uh, suffering from Trump derangement syndrome uh, I I into a fucking tizzy by, by putting this shit out there. Uh, and, and so that was, uh, and, and I had to give them some credit. And so my only comment w w was that I cannot believe, you know, something to the effect of, I, I you know, I, I can't help but get a laugh. Uh, how many of these fucking limp dick lefties don't understand that this is humor? It is satire. It is humor. Uh, you know, the best satire, obviously, ha does have a grain of truth in it. Uh, just going completely over the heads of uh, how easy it is to, uh, to fucking yank somebody's chain. And I probably should not be saying this, but speaking of yanking people's chains, guys, uh, obviously uh, my uh, video on uh, Colony of Cells last night was satire. Well, I hope it was satire. I mean, I really don't know where the dude is. I have, we haven't heard a peep from him since Christmas Eve, uh, I think that Colony of Cells might just be pissed off at me because I put the two terms, I put the term urinary organ and the term free internet porn on uh, the, the terms that if you say urinary organ or free internet porn, 
in the comments on either one of my channels your comment will will get immediately ripped down and since colony of cells cannot make a comment without using the term urinary organ <coughs> or free internet porn uh, <coughs> his comments kept disappearing <coughs> and uh, I think he got <coughs> in a huff and ran off <coughs> but I don't know I don't know I uh, never can tell what's going on with people and their urinary organs oh lord all right I gotta get this beautiful day moving. I'm gonna get a couple more hours in on the trailer floor from hell. <sighs> and then head out. Get out there and uh, enjoy your Trump derangement syndrome. <laughs> Might as well get used to it. Because <clears throat> we got four more years of Trump derangement syndrome. But of course, I'm living in the land of Biden derangement syndrome. How anybody can, you know, get driven into a, a lather by Joe Biden. <laughs> uh, fuck. Politics. Gotta hate it. Bye, guys.